Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. As you can see, Lauren has been discharged. Um, we got discharged a couple days ago. Like four days ago? Now. Yep. Um, I brought the wagon to the hospital and they let him go and we took um, the Burt Gilman Trail to the hotel because it meets right up and so I felt like that was a nice way to get Lauren out and about after finally being discharged. Yeah, so far we've only been to University Village, mm -hmm. but that was yeah. pretty nice Yeah, to get out and do that. Yeah. It's been great outside the hospital, I mean, Shake Shack. <laughs> He had Shake Shack for the first time. Shake Shack for the first time, and then Blazing Bagels. Or what was it? Oh, yeah, Bagels. that place was really good. Yeah, it's really good. Um, um, mostly food. We're mostly just fans of food. Yeah. <laughs> it's right next to our hotel, so it's easy to walk there and stuff. Um, we haven't really gone anywhere um, big exciting yet. After Lauren got discharged, we had an appointment with UW Medicine for pain management. Uh, in our last video, we were talking about how there was going to be a nerve blocker that was going to be put in. Um, that didn't actually end up getting done because there were consultations and stuff that needed to be done before they could actually go through with the surgery. So the day after Lauren was discharged, we had that appointment. Um, and we were there for like two hours, I want to say. And the pain management doctor there... Um, his hypothesis, I guess, is that a lot of Lauren's pain is nerve pain, and then a lot of it is a type of phantom pain. Um, so not like phantom limb pain. Uh, he explained it really well. I can't really, like, verbatim explain it, but the cramping of the muscles down below uh, is a type of phantom pain based off of the symptoms that he's, like, showing from it. So... With that, we're scheduled for a lidocaine injection that's supposed to help with the phantom pain and like the muscle cramping. Um, and then on Wednesday, so the day this video is being posted, actually, we have an appointment with the doctor who will be doing the spinal cord stimulation surgery. Um, and he'll kind of consult us about that more. Um, yeah. And yeah. Oh yeah. And then got a Switch and we were all able to play Smash Bros. Uh, last night. Yeah, that was really um, fun. TV. It yeah. was really fun. Because the nice thing about the Switch is it comes with those attachments to make like a baby controller for certain games. So Lauren was able to play with one hand and we had a good time with that. Mm -hmm. Played that for a couple hours. It was nice. Lauren hasn't been able to play video games at all in like two months. Yeah, no, it's been like three months. Yeah, it's before. been a while. We should be getting my uh, body prosthetic here pretty soon. Yes. A couple, couple more weeks. A couple more weeks. I spoke to our prosthetic guy this morning. Um, they've started working on the new air cells. Um, they're just waiting for the foam insert to make its way there to make sure that the placement of the urostomy is correct. And then um, he said sometime this week he'll be able to send me an ETA on when that bucket will be back and ready. So that's exciting. The goal with this lidocaine injection and the nerve simulator is to knock out the two main causes of Lauren's pain. So pretty much we're staying in Seattle until both of those are done. The lidocaine injection will be um, it's not a one and done thing. It will be, you know, like an outpatient thing. I'm not sure how often Lauren's supposed to do it, um, but it's outpatient, no having to be admitted for it, just, you know. So that's really nice, but the goal with those is to t knock out the two biggest causes of his pain. And if that works, you know, we can go home comfortable, essentially pain-free for the first time in two years. Yeah. And kind of be able to start our life again. So we're really excited about that. Good trap when start doing other things. Yes. Other so, than just sitting around. Sitting in bed and walking areas. 
But yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Mm. Um, we'll be able to update you guys more after our appointments this week. Um, we don't have an ETA really on when we're going home yet. It really all depends um, on when appointments can be made. Uh, because, you know, Seattle, COVID, really busy hospitals. Some people are booked out till November, so. Yeah. Yeah. I know I talked a lot in this one. I just retained all of the information from the appointments. And I kind of have an easier time relaying that information. So, please don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm tired. I need yeah. a break. <laughs> yeah. Lauren's been having more fun these last couple of days. Yeah. He has last few months. So, and with been pretty, that, been pretty pain free. Yeah, they sent him home on a fun little cocktail, but he's been really pain free. And it's you know it's a temporary cocktail until this lidocaine and stuff can get done. But yeah. it's keeping him comfy. It's keeping us out of the hospital. It's keeping us in the same bed together again. So. Mm. I think with that, we'll see you guys next week. Right. See you guys next week. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. Share with friends. Yes. And we'll be back next week. And hopefully someone will be more awake. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we'll have some more updates for you guys. Thank you.